it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome. I'm standing in front of the mausoleum of Augustus, that's Emperor Augustus, the first emperor of Rome, and we are about to go visit this monument on the inside. This is really exciting because this is one of the ruins that has been on my mind for years and years and it has just never been open. It was a brief moment in time uh, a few years ago where they kind of opened it on a couple weekends randomly and I got to go inside and that was great but they've been working on turning this into a full-on museum. It's not even ready, but they wanted to open it this year. So it's already open, but it's kind of work in progress. And we're gonna go see it now before it turns into a full-blown museum, but you can really see a lot. So let's go visit the mausoleum of Augustus, Rome's first emperor. Here we go. Rome's first emperor, Octavian Augustus, famously said, I found Rome a city of bricks and left it a city of marble. We don't really know if that's true, but regardless, he did create a lot of wonderful buildings in Rome, including his own mausoleum. Augustus built his mausoleum in the field of Mars, which we call today Campo Marzio, not far from the Tiber River. The entryway to the mausoleum faced directly towards the entryway of the Pantheon, even if the Pantheon was some distance away, and there was a corridor linking the two. We're not entirely sure what the mausoleum of Augustus looked like because it is in such ruinous state today, but we do have a pretty good idea thanks to the writings of Strabo of Amasia, a Greek geographer who lived in the time of Augustus and who saw the mausoleum and wrote about it. According to Strabo's book called Geography, Augustus's mausoleum probably looked a little bit like a cross between an Etruscan tumulus, tomb, and a Roman temple. The monument would have been topped with trees probably cypress trees, since Strabo describes seeing evergreen trees. On top of all of that, Strabo describes seeing a golden statue, which was probably a bronze statue, of the emperor himself. That sculpture was probably the model for the marble sculpture that we can see today in the Vatican Museums. The mausoleum was designed to be the final resting place for Augustus's family and the Julio-Claudian dynasty. The mausoleum was last used in 217, after which it fell to decay. Over the centuries, the mausoleum took on a few roles. Throughout the Renaissance and into the 17th and 18th and 19th centuries, the mausoleum acted as a hanging garden, a fortress, a concert hall, and a bullfighting ring, among other things. Eventually, in 1936, Benito Mussolini closed the mausoleum and ordered that it be returned to its original state as an archaeological site. Since that time, the mausoleum simply sat and decayed further, but finally it has been restored and is being turned into a museum that we can all visit. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video about visiting the Mausoleum of Augustus. I've got a playlist with lots of other monuments from ancient Rome, so you can watch more videos of the same theme. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you at the next video. Ciao for now.